This is a gas which we cannot see. That gas is called carbon dioxide. We obtain carbon dioxide from the environment and even at school. This carbon dioxide can be useful to us. Carbon dioxide is the most important greenhouse gas produced by human activities, primarily through the combustion of fossil fuels. In addition, Carbon dioxide is produced when respiration and combustion occurs. Respiration is the process by which animals take in oxygen necessary for cellular metabolism and releases the carbon dioxide that accumulates in their bodies as a result of expenditure of energy. In general, the equation is carbohydrates reacts with oxygen yields carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Combustion or burning is the sequence of exothermic chemical reactions between a fuel and an oxidant accompanied by the production of heat and conversion of chemical species. In summary, the simple word equation for combustion is fuel reacts with oxygen yields heat, water, and carbon dioxide. What is global warming? Global warming is when the Earth heats up and the temperature rises. It happens when greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, water vapor, and etc. trap heat and light from the sun in the Earth's atmosphere, which increases the temperature. Don't ever try its activity. Why? It is because it will contribute a lot in destroying the ozone layer, which will result to global warming. Listen to this. The causes of global warming are divided into two, natural and man-made. This picture shows the release of methane gas from Arctic tundra and wetlands. Fossil fuels or fuels made of organic matter such as coal or oil and if burned will give off greenhouse gas called carbon dioxide. Another major man-made cause of global warming is population. More people mean more necessities such as food, transportation, etc. That means more methane because there will be more burning of fossil fuels and more agriculture. And since carbon dioxide contributes to global warming, the increase in population makes the problem worse because we breathe out carbon dioxide. Here are the five deadliest effects of global warming. This will throw the global ecosystem out of balance. The ice caps are fresh water, and when they melt, they will desalinate the ocean. As northern countries swarm, this is carrying insects migrate north, bring plug and disease with them. Indeed, some scientists believe that in some countries, malaria has not been fully eradicated. There are 5,773,000 cubic miles of water in ice caps, glaciers, and permanent snow. According to the National Snow and Ice Data Center, if all glaciers melted today and the seas would rise about 230 feet. As the temperature of ocean rises, so will the probability of more frequent and stronger hurricanes. We saw this in 2004 and 2005. Most of the effects of anthropogenic global warming would be good, and these effects fell on things for the countries of the world, economic consequences.
also serve as an awareness program about the effects of global warming that can bring. Join us and be part of the most important events even on ordinary man's economy.